Okay, so no lie. I was just at the Brooks versus St. Mark's game. That game, I mean, it was a beautiful moment, but Brooks pretty much was smashing the hell out of St. Mark's. So I had huge FOMO because it was 41 nothing at the half. So I had to come out to Methuen High School and watch the Rangers versus Andover. Some of my best fans come out of Methuen, so I was very excited to make this trip. I had Brando get the first half highlights. I caught the very end of the first half. I'm gonna explain the difference right now. I almost got kicked out of the Brooks game because apparently I was standing too close to the line, which I clearly wasn't. I have been to dozens and dozens of games, college and high school. The Brooks AD was like, no, I'm going to kick you out if you do not move past the line. And I said, no, you don't understand. I'm leaving. Biggest difference, though, I show up. The Methuen AD shakes my hand. He goes, Alex, thanks for coming. Thanks for making this trip. Thank you for your coverage, bro. That's the biggest difference. I'm going to leave it at that. This is a crosstown rivalry. Andover and Methuen are, what, 10 minutes apart from each other. Both are undefeated. Andover had a huge, huge win last week against Central Catholic. And Methuen has plenty of up-and-coming talent. The Merrimack Valley Conference is up for grabs. That is for sure. I want to take this time, though. Everyone, like this video. Subscribe to the channel. I just hit 1,600, boy. So get me to that 2,000 mark. Follow me on all my social media platforms. Follow Brando as well. All his links are going to be in the bio. Nobody does it like me. Guys, can you believe that we're over halfway through the season? Keep updated with me throughout the rest of the season and know what games I'm going to. Methuen versus Andover, Friday Night Lights. Let's jump into the highlights.
Lincoln Beal is in. Let's go! There you go, Lincoln. Welcome back, Lincoln Beal. Oh, damn. Scott Brown. He got that. Victory formation for Andover. They are five and oh. Let's go, Scott Brown. It's a W, baby! Let's go! Let's go, boys. Yeah. Oh, you already know, man. We had to, you know, we had to bring this back to the crib, you know? Yeah. All right, quarterback Scott Brown here. Scott, talk about this. What a win today. Uh, I mean, that was a great team. We knew that coming in. Two tough weeks in a row. We had Central last week. Got a good win against them. Another great win here, and we, we just got to move right on to Haverhill. Scott, you know, we talked back at the Merrimack uh, yeah. spring game, and you said this was going to be a special year. I mean, last year we knew, you, you know, we only had one senior starting for us last year, so we knew we, we were getting all our guys back. Off season, everybody got stronger, bigger, faster. I mean, and it's really showing right now what we're doing and what we're capable of doing. Absolutely, and then talk about having a guy like Lincoln back. You know, he was out the first couple yeah, weeks. It doesn't matter who we play. Lincoln's the best player on the field. I mean, his foot, it's not even 100%, and he's just going at it still. I mean, it just shows what kind of a warrior he is. I mean, he, he's, he's just a baller. That's all he is. I've been watching you since you were a freshman. Yep. You know, you're a freshman, senior year, senior captain. You know, talk about that. I mean, it's a privilege being with these guys. It, it really is. Every day, I mean, we, we just want to win. I mean, that our goal is to win it all, and, I mean, that's we're capable of doing it and that's the plan and you know every day is just a blessing being with all these guys you want to shout out your friends and family <laughs> hey shout out my mom dad and everybody uh on the team go warriors absolutely and then uh can you do me one favor hey, hey, shout out recruiting board <laughs> i'm not quite there with you yet <laughs> man the do it all stud for the warriors number two lincoln bill how did this feel man so great, you know. Last week we had Central Catholic tough win. I mean, we had just as tough team this week, so we had to stay focused and we got the job done this week. You no, know, obviously you weren't. You didn't play the few, first few games, but you came back at the right time. It looks like team got the job done the first few weeks. So I'm proud of us. Going to keep it going strong. You know, this is a great rivalry. What does it mean to be the team of Methuen? Well, they had us the last couple of years, so it, it does mean a lot to us. We wanted to, we wanted to kick them. We want to kick them down. So. <laughs> and I mean, you definitely did. Scott hit you for a big play. Yeah. You know, he passed you the ball. Talk about that moment for you. That was huge because I, I mean, I dropped the pass. I don't want to talk about that. Before that, I run a wheel row right out of there and big play. Scotty put that perfectly on me. I'm just happy we got that drive done. Coach Perry said this might be the best start y'all have had. I believe he said since 2012. Playing with these guys for so long, you know, we grew up together, so 
it's the best just playing with the boys we grew up with and uh we're excited about it i mean you're on the way to a merrimack valley title man you know senior year you know and i you know i just i think it's a great moment you know because you and scott told me in Merrimack at the, at the spring game. You said, this is going to be a special team. Talk about Michael Capuchetti with a big grab over there and fourth down, I think. I mean, the receivers have been killing it. The O-line stepped up heavy. You know, we were lifting all winter. The O-line got it huge. So I'm happy with the improvements we made from last year. And college coaches, I can't speak enough about this dude. He is a dog, man. I can personally say that Lincoln Beal is a stud. Lincoln, you want to shout out your friends and family? Shout out to my mom, my dad, my, my brother, my sister. You guys are the biggest supporters out there. So thank you very much. Shout out recruiting board. Uh, good job, Lincoln, man. Coach Perry, what a win today, you know, over a great Methuen team. Just talk about what it means to win the, win the trophy back. I think a lot of people have been saying in the paper when, when this rivalry has been going on since the 60s or 50s or probably before that. Whenever this was, and I played in the rivalry, all my brothers played in the rivalry, and to win this is is incredible because I think it was said in the paper really well, you know, to have Methuen and Andover back battling for first place and then have a game like this with a crowd like this, it was just remarkable. And uh, I'm just excited for the kids because we had 24 seniors that at the end of the game, they were all juniors. They all started last year, but we were not satisfied, especially walking out of Fenway Park. But I asked them when we got back to school, just stop in the room for a second and let's regroup. I need you to start lifting immediately, get in condition immediately. And we've just been in, in great condition and great lifting all the way through. So we're excited. Obviously, you have an emotional win that last week. But then you got to go, hey, guys, we got to focus in. We got one more big game coming up. The emotion of that last week was just there had been so many close ones that, that we we messed up on, and then we had an opportunity, another close one, and we pulled it out. And they were just, like you said, they were just spent. But I said, you guys, you got 24 hours. So usually on Sundays we go no pads and, and sort of just a walkthrough. I said, no way, guys. You guys get Saturday off. We're coming in Sunday, regular practice. We're here at 8. We're going to go over the film, and then we're having a regular practice. So it was tremendous to uh, go through that and, and work through it, and uh, we were very excited. And, you know, you mentioned this year's senior class because we talked at the spring game, Merrimack spring game. I talked to Lincoln and Scott, you know, and they said this is a special class. You know, and I was there when they were freshmen playing North Andover on Thanksgiving. You know, and, but now they're all seniors and it's starting to show, Coach. Yeah, like I said, so last year when we only had nine seniors, you know, it was sort of like a hollow feeling when you're, you, when you're trying to do things that are, that are magical. I mean, they, they did a nice job in the, in the regular season. We, we went five and three, but we, we didn't make it after that to where we wanted to get. And so this year's class, like I said, led by Scotty, Wetterall, Hunter, Lincoln, Mondahar, all those guys wanted to step up. They wanted to be in the driver's seat and, to, and they've put themselves in the driver's seat so again we just gotta guard against anything coming at us and we'll go at it again last question coach is you know that was the first last year last week was the first one over central catholic since was it 09 i think it uh, was 12 since 2012 and then this is probably the best start you've had in how long coach since 2012 again so I've had 40 texts from alums going as far back, like I said, as 1950, but <laughs> Melvin Berger was at practice yesterday. He was a great running back who played at BU. And then today, C.J. Scarper was our quarterback on the 2012 team that went 10-1, and one, and we had won eight straight to begin the season. I said, we're coming after that record. I wished him luck in Middlebury, but I said, we're coming after your record. We're, we're going to get more than eight in a row. And uh, he was so excited, and uh, so he was the last guy to do it. That team also beat Central, so that was the last team to beat Central 2012 and the last team to go more than 5-0. and oh, They went 8-0. Coach, well, best of luck to you. I think you're heading in a really good direction, Coach. Thank you. Yes, Thank sir. You Thank you, Coach Perry. Yes, sir. Nice to meet you, too. I'm not going to be my own with Mikey Lane. Have you heard of Mikey Lane? Of course, man. <laughs> Put your arm out a little more, man. There you go. Thank you so much. Uh, it's nice to meet you, brother. Me too, man.